My name is Brianna. I'm 31 years old, and I have very darkened, chronic, dry skin. It's on my neck, on my back, going down my chest area, and behind my ears. It's almost like the way elephant skin looks like. It just makes me feel very uncomfortable. My condition first started when I was about five years old. It started off very small on my neck but soon it started becoming scaly and darker. I used to stay at my great grandma's house when I was little and she believed that I had dirt on my neck and she would use this type of hard sponge. It's like a foot scrubber and she would scrub my neck and scrub my neck and I would just feel this burning sensation after. She probably did it every other day, but it never went away. When I'm working, I usually have really bad urges to scratch. So I just grab my back scratcher and I just go at it. It gets very, very irritated. And I am scratching all day, especially in the back of my neck and right here. And I just will pull. I'll pull on it. If I scratch it enough, it will poof up. I just kind of have to smack it. I have to like smack my skin a little to just relieve some kind of itch. I don't know what's going on with my skin. When I turned 18, I did a skin test. And when they came back with the results, they just said, well, there's nothing we can do about it. I'm going to give you some ointment. I saw a doctor not too long ago, and uh, he told me the same thing. He put lotion on. Every doctor I see, they, they act like it's nothing. I was very nervous about coming here today. Usually when I go to the doctors, they don't really give me any answers. But what I'm hoping for most today would be that Dr. Lee can help me find a cure because this affects my life every day. And if that can't go away, I have to now figure out what's next for me. I'm just tired of being in pain. Well, hello, Ohio. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, I'm Dr. Lee, welcome. You are Brianna, I see. Did you come from far? No, I came from like Elsinore. Oh, all right. So what can I do for you today? Well, I have a skin condition uh -huh. that I have n no knowledge about. Okay. The doctors say it's normal, okay. but I don't feel it is because it's very painful. Okay. It will itch a lot. You scratch it pretty much every day? I do scratch it every day. Have you ever had any prescriptions for it? I did, but they made me feel more itchy. The best thing I've used was my own stuff okay. because everything they gave me made it worse. It's like a petroleum jelly or pe petrolata. Yes. How long have you had this for? Since I was about five years old. Do you have a brother or sister or anybody? I have some family members that have uh -huh. a little bit, but I have the worst condition of, out of everyone. Oh, that's no fun. Mm -hmm. It's potentially a big clue that Brianna has family members with a similar condition, because that might mean that this is hereditary, and that can narrow down a correct diagnosis. So what I see just from the get-go is a lot of what we call lichenification, meaning it's been scratched or rubbed for years and years. Can I take a look at your back? Yes. OK, I just want to make sure. OK, I'm going to lift up. So I see it thickened right here. Can you reach this area here? Oh, you're pretty okay. limber, girl. <laughs> yeah, I have to be. <laughs> and you can reach up to here? like. And no, I can't. How do you get to that? Well, I rub up against the wall. I have a back scratcher. Oh, you have I a back scratcher. I ask my daughter okay. to scratch my back. <laughs> okay. On further examination of Brianna, you see a lot of darkening of the skin, thickening of the skin, and this is what we call lichenification. Chronic rubbing on the skin of anybody who has a little darker complexion will cause darkening of that area. Don't scratch it because it can increase the risk of scarring, infection, bleeding, any kind of problems. I think that there's a mix of a couple of things here. When you have something that's sort of itchy in this distribution where you have it in your inner arms and behind your knees and the back of your neck, that is something though that you're sort of more born with. It's called atopic dermatitis. It makes you really itchy. You scratch a lot. The more you itch, the more it scratches. It becomes like a yes, cycle, right? Yes. And it's also really chronic. It's been going on for a long time because you're chronically rubbing it. And the more you chronically kind of scratch it, you're going to darken it more easily. 
So I'm gonna propose that we're gonna take a little sample of skin. Then we can really decide on a treatment option. Thank I'll you. See you in a little bit, of course. Okay. Sounds good. That's exactly what I've been doing is scratching myself to relieve, but in the end, I guess it's making it worse. Like, what have I been doing this whole time? Hi, Brianna. We're ready for you inside. Okay. Come on down. Maybe I had a chance before to kind of stop it, and uh, it just ended up getting worse. Thank you. Do you mind if I pull up? Is no, okay? I don't mind. I, I think it's nice to see that lower part here. The area that gets lighter is the area that's like right in the middle that's probably the hardest for you to reach. Yeah, I can see that the scratching has darkened the skin here. So I think if we take a little bit right there, do like one right here. I think that this is atopic dermatitis, but doing a biopsy will help to either cement that diagnosis or really give me ideas of what this might be otherwise. So a couple things. First, no more scratching. Also, I'm going to start you on a topical steroid cream that's a little stronger, but I want to try to kick this into gear. And I want you to mix it with the petrolatum and then apply it to these areas. And I'll do that twice a day, okay? okay. And then I'm also giving you the antihistamine pill. Antihistamines are like anti-itch pills. The most important thing is for Brianna to have her hands off, her nails off these areas. Stop scratching, stop rubbing the areas, and that is the first step of these areas improving. And then we'll see how you do, because there are other things that, like a condition called acanthosis nigricans that is not easy to treat, and it looks very similar. So I'm hoping it's not that, because if it's these other things, I think they could be treatable. So it all really kind of depends on the biopsy. Dr. Lee has been giving me a lot of answers about what it could be, and it's giving me a lot of relief and a lot more hope to know that there is a possibility that I don't have to live with this forever. Here's your prescriptions, and we'll be in touch. Okay. okay. Thank you. Of course. The fact that she told me that itching will make it worse is a big game changer for me. And I will do everything I can to be kinder to my skin. It's been eight weeks since I saw Brianna. I did receive the results of her biopsy. And surprisingly, her condition is both atopic dermatitis and acanthosis nigricans combined. But Brianna has been using the medication I prescribed for her diligently and has seen some great improvement already. The crust on my ear is gone. My skin looks healthier. I'm already gaining more confidence and uh, I feel good. Good luck, Brianna, and way to go on not scratching.